Welcome to Inside Auto Podcast, where we feature everyone and anyone you'd want to talk to in and out of the automotive industry. Ilana Shabtai, Inside Auto Podcast with Ben Hadley, or the way that he likes to introduce himself. It's Just Hadley. 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 What's Welcome up? Welcome to the podcast. Thanks for having me. It's an exciting time for us because we just released uh, Auto Lead Star and Auto Genius's partnership. I know. Congratulations. Absolutely huge. Yeah, thanks let's for, talk about thanks it. Thanks for doing it with us. Um, so I would say that traditionally you think of websites as a piece of software. We think of websites as a visualization of multiple databases. Auto Lead Star has probably the most connected access to those databases at a dealership. And not only that, they're uh, super API friendly, which, you know, it's is part it, of the, the basis of. Yeah, we can use. only really work with people that are API friendly. Yeah. But it also says a lot about sort of Auto Lead Star's willingness to collaborate, which I'm huge on. Um, and I think is hopefully a trend that, that catches fire at, uh, at NADA this year. Yeah. And also, you guys have built such an impressive community of the most forward-thinking dealers. Yeah. So it's exciting to be connected to that. It's amazing. The, yeah. those, uh, the community is really the heart and soul of Auto Genius. We have, I think, 1,400 plus rooftops in there. And uh, the things that they're thinking of and innovating on... And, and pointing us in terms of what they want and need, is, it's, it's amazing. It's a great compass. That's awesome. Now let's talk about how they're pointing you, right? So yeah. there's product market fit. Yeah. And then there's... There's market product fit. Yeah. I know. It's so, one of our... It's, it's, a, it's a great way to build a product. So, so let's talk about that. You sure? I mean, within the, the time constraints of what we how have. How are we on time? <laughs> um, all right. So I would say most companies in software say, make a product, iterate, make a product, iterate. Oh, no, it doesn't work, doesn't work, whatever. Spend, spend, spend. All this stuff. Um, and then if they're really lucky, they find uh, a bunch of people that want it and it fits. What we said was maybe that's backwards. Maybe it would be better if you started with a giant community of really smart forward thinkers and then you just listened and designed whatever product they were demanding after you listened. Right. And so that is market product fit. Right. Genius. Might, genius. might Some might even say auto genius. Uh, we're thinking about dropping the auto, though. <laughs> Remember <laughs> when Facebook was the Facebook? Yeah. Just yeah. be genius. We're just dropping. Yeah, exactly. I think that's Just smart. genius. Just genius. Yeah. I think that's really... I, but I really do think that makes a lot of sense. And I think it's great to be able to create a product around an extremely forward-thinking market. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it, it's also like, it used to be when I started in like 2009 or 10, there was a giant knowledge gap between the dealer and uh, the far vendor partners. That knowledge gap is totally shrunk. And I actually would argue that a lot of the people in the community, most of them know more than most of your vendors. And so now I think it's better than ever. Is like, it's a good time to like start listening to them and mm -hmm. say, hey, let's at least get the engineers that we have connected with them. You know, let's get the product people connected with them because they know exactly what they want. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's wonderful. Now, what are, it's day two of NADA. What are you what are you hearing? What do you feel like people are talking about? What are you learning? You know what they're not talking about? What at least are they I'm not, not hearing about? about is like digital retailing feels like it fell off a cliff. Well, yeah, because well, I won't we won't get into what I think about that, but. No, I Going think... Going to what I you think, think about that. I think it's a... Uh, there's this interesting, like, I would say, uh, re uh, reversion to a mean, you know, where COVID made it so interesting and you had this giant, you know, uh, skyrocket up in interest and adoption. And then we're just seeing the exact opposite rebound to yeah. go back to, to sort of the pace that it should have been. But I think that reversion to the mean is also sort of saying, like, a lot of people are trying to just focus on getting back to the basics. Yeah. And getting back to, like... Hey, the market was pretty wacky. We had to be wacky. Now the market's settling down. Let's just get back to like doing what works. Yeah. I mean, I also think that the dealers that just put dealer, digital retail on because they thought it was going to be some sort of band-aid to deal with COVID, oh. it was obvious that was going to rebound. But yeah, I think, I think that has a lot to do with it. Meaning like Agreed. it totally. obviously was not yeah. implemented correctly, f followed through, process, people, et cetera. Totally. I would say the, uh, the other thing I'm interested in, and I've been seeing a little bit around here, is out of interest from non-traditionally automotive companies 
are coming into the space. Been walking around. They don't have booths, but there are sort of like a lot of. Uh, oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, like haven't seen a Salesforce Salesforce jersey yet. Right, but definitely but like it's a testament to how hot this industry is right now. Totally. So uh, I'm I'm excited that you're saying that. Yeah, that's you're great. starting to see people go, "Hey, why aren't we in auto?" Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'd love. I'm excited to see what Salesforce has this year for automotive. Me too. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I well, can't wait. I can't wait either. Thanks, Ben, for joining Inside I, Auto yeah, Podcast. Thanks for having me. Cool. Cool. Thanks for listening to Inside Auto Podcast. Check out our other episodes with top entrepreneurs and industry leaders.